Stan Gibalisco here. I'm not sure what category to put this under, <laughs> but it has to go somewhere. I just have to repeat this to you because it is so utterly flabbergastational. I just made that word up. I'll bet that, I, I'll bet nobody's ever said that. No, 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 take that back. The longest lightning bolt in the world. And I've talked about lightning uh, coming off of the top of a thunder uh, cloud, a cumulonimbus cloud, and traveling up to 15 miles before it finally turns and heads towards ground and does its thing. So you, you can get struck by lightning up to 15 miles away from a thunderstorm by what they call a super bolt. Well, I just read about a super duper 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 bolt in 2007 in Oklahoma that came out of the top of a thundercloud and traveled 199 miles before it finally turned downward and struck the ground. Can you imagine? I mean, I could, we, any one of us, any one of us at all with a thunderstorm within 200 miles of us could get fried in an instant. That's our little thought for the night. I think, you know, I think it's more, I think it's more likely that a shark would come out of my kitchen sink and eat me up than that a lightning bolt would strike all the way from Chamberlain or Mitchell and clobber me here in the black holes of Dakota Territory. But you never know. You just never know. There are so many ways to die. <laughs> If you worry about them all, you'd be a nervous wreck. Oh my God! And, and I thought it was—I thought it was bad enough that I had a belly ache today. I could get hit by lightning from 200 miles away. I mean, good Lord! Where is that? Like Sheridan, Wyoming? Lightning could straight. Well, there could be a thunderstorm. Oh my God! You just. Give it up, Stanley. Give it up. We are all marked for death here on this veil of sparks. <laughs> it's just go to AccuWeather.com. That's the the one that uh, can't even forecast what's happening right now, let alone what's going to happen tomorrow. But they do have good radar, and they do have some good stories. <laughs> I think I'll take my I think I'll take my antenna down now. Thank you very much. Stan Jibalisco, even though it's clear and not a storm in sight. Take that sucker down before it gets blown up by a lightning bolt from hell. Stan Jibalisco signing off amidst a flurry of sparks and flames. Until next time, so long.